The Book of Giants and Enoch contains tales that were hidden for centuries and differ significantly from each other. However, they complement each other by shedding light on the unofficial truth behind the Bible. Together, they provide a captivating perspective on the nature of fallen angels and their offspring, which intrigues readers and even challenges their beliefs. The Book of Giants stands out for its bone-chilling accounts of fallen angels and their offspring, guaranteed to send shivers down your spine with every turn of the page. What secrets have been hidden in the tales of the Book of Giants and Enoch for centuries? What is the unofficial truth behind the Bible that these books reveal? The Book of Enoch is a visceral and thought-provoking read, written by the great-grandfather of Noah, detailing celestial beings who fall from grace and engage in unspeakable acts with human beings. It will leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about the divine, with detailed descriptions of the heavenly realms and accounts of Enoch's vision of the apocalypse. The Book of Giants is a fascinating tale about the Nephilim, who were the offspring of the Watchers and human women. It tells the story of their epic battles, which ultimately led to their demise. The Giants grew increasingly restless as time passed and plotted to regain their power. They developed an insatiable hunger for human flesh and began to attack and consume entire villages. The skies darkened and the earth shook with their footsteps as they rampaged across the land. Meanwhile, a group of humans sought to uncover the truth behind the giant's power and their insatiable thirst for destruction. They stumbled upon a hidden chamber that contained a cryptic tablet with the power to summon divine forces. As they deciphered the tablet's writings, they discovered a way to call upon the archangels to fight against the giants. The humans knew that they were putting themselves in grave danger, but they could not stand by and watch the giants destroy everything they held dear. The archangels arrived, and a fierce battle ensued. The earth shook with the force of the giant's footsteps, and the skies were lit up with flashes of lightning as the divine and monstrous forces clashed. The humans stood in awe and terror as they watched the battle unfold. The archangels emerged victorious, but at a great cost. The earth was left in ruins, and the humans realized the true cost of playing with the power of the divine. From that day on, the giants were nothing more than a memory, a cautionary tale of what happens when humans tamper with the power of the gods. The humans were left to pick up the pieces of their shattered world, never to forget the dark and thrilling tale of the ancient giants and their downfall. Despite their fear and uncertainty, the giants continued to roam the earth and wreak havoc. However, one of them, Ilya, walked away from the group, perhaps realizing the error of their ways. During the night, two more of the giants had visions of a garden with 200 trees where gardeners watered the plants, and new growth emerged from the soil before flames consumed the garden. They shared their discoveries with the others, who were all panicked and shouted for Malwa to seek out Enoch for help. When Malwa asked Oya how long the giants had to live, he replied that Enoch would interpret the dreams. Enoch greeted Malwa and explained his mission, sharing insight into their dreams and worst nightmares. Enoch gave Malwa a tablet warning of impending doom, but offering redemption through repentance, along with another tablet for Shemyaza and his friends, written in Enoch's own hand. The inscription on the tablet warned the monsters and giants that judgment would fall on them for their evil deeds, and offered hope for salvation through repentance and seeking forgiveness. As time passes, secrets from the past are uncovered. Ancient texts hidden beneath the earth tell stories of beings beyond our understanding. The Book of Giants is one such text that speaks of lost souls' emotional struggles. In its pages, the giants and monsters are tormented by their own failures and disappointments. With each page turned, the darkness grows thicker as the giants and monsters begin to realize the depth of their own complicity. Their efforts to absolve themselves of guilt only serve to plunge them further into the abyss of despair. The fallen angels, who they once believed to be the root of all their troubles, are but a mere symptom of a much greater disease. Terrifying dreams grip the giants and monsters, sending them spiraling into a vortex of fear and desperation. They seek refuge in their twisted beliefs, and their faith is shattered as they come to face to face with the consequences of their actions. It is then that God himself descends from the heavens, wielding the hammer of judgment. Amidst the chaos, the hybrids of half-bird humans and half-divine beings roam the earth. They are the monsters spoken of in hushed tones, their existence accepted as a fact of life. 
Book of Giants mentions them in passing, for they are but a footnote in a world dominated by greater powers. And yet, within the pages of First Enoch, there are other figures of note. Azazel, Shemyaza, and Barakil are but three of the rebellious demigods hidden within the text. They too will face the wrath of God, for their actions have consequences that even they cannot comprehend. The Dead Sea Scrolls are a window into a world that is both fascinating and terrifying. They reveal a reality far beyond our mortal comprehension, in which gods and monsters roam the earth. And in the end, we are left to wonder whether we too are but mere pawns in a game played by forces far beyond our understanding. So stay tuned, subscribe, and share your like to keep clearing the fog on this channel. Shimyaza is credited with proposing the pact among the fallen angels to accept responsibility for their actions on Earth together as revealed in the Book of Giants. The second Enoch tablet repeats the message found in Enoch, warning of severe consequences for everyone involved, and addresses Shimyaza directly, along with the name Barakel, linked to astronomy and the study of the stars. The giants scorn parallels to the story of Abraham, Sarah, and Isaac at the prospect of a child being born to a childless woman, and the name Gilgamesh is briefly introduced into the pre-flood world centered on Enoch. The Gilgamesh myth from ancient Babylonia is discussed in more detail in prior episodes, including the floods described in the Book of Genesis and the Epic of Gilgamesh. The origins of the Book of Giants are shrouded in mystery, with many debating its authorship. Some believe it was written during the Second Temple period, while others argue that it was created much later, possibly during the early Christian era. The Book of Giants has long been a source of fascination for many, with its vivid depictions of supernatural creatures and epic clashes between forces of good and evil. Despite its mysterious origins, the stories of the Nephilim have endured across centuries, inspiring countless interpretations and adaptations. These legendary beings wielded immense power and influence, and in some ancient cultures they were even venerated as deities. Despite the darkness of their tales, the Book of Giants continues to captivate the imaginations of people around the world. It describes the Nephilim as arrogant and corrupt, using their immense power to subjugate and exploit humanity. According to the book, the Nephilim even went so far as to teach forbidden knowledge to humanity, leading to widespread corruption and depravity. The book's descriptions of the Nephilim and their actions are so unsettling that many religious leaders throughout history have sought to suppress its contents. Some even went so far as to condemn it as heretical, claiming that it was the work of the devil himself. However, despite these efforts, the book continued to circulate, passed down through secret societies, and whispered about in hushed tones by those who sought to uncover its secrets. The Book of Giants is not only significant for its content, but also for its impact on modern culture. Its themes of forbidden knowledge and corrupt power have inspired countless works of fiction and popular culture, from the works of H.P. Lovecraft to the modern blockbuster film industry. In recent years, interest in the Book of Giants has grown even further, with many people seeking to uncover its secrets and explore its themes in greater depth. This has led to a renewed interest in ancient texts and mythology and a deeper appreciation for how these stories continue to shape our understanding of the world around us. Despite attempts to suppress its contents, the book has survived to this day, inspiring countless works of fiction and popular culture, and sparking a renewed interest in ancient texts and mythology. Whether you are a scholar or simply a curious reader, the Book of Giants is sure to capture your imagination and transport you to a world of myth and legend unlike any other. What secrets and mysteries do you think the Book of Giants and other ancient texts might still hold, waiting to be uncovered and explored? Let us know in the comments, leave your like, and subscribe for more videos like this.